Well, welcome to another edition of Face to Face with Rockosaurus. Today I'm very pleased to be talking to uh, Ollie Brown and the Dead Collective. Hello. 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 <laughs> welcome to Leo's, guys. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> now, um, you're just about to embark on a, on a bit of a tour, I believe. We are, yes. So where are you going? Uh, we're going on tour with The Answer, which is going to be mm-hmm. pretty epic, really. It's five shows around the UK. Well, around England. I say UK, but it's not. It's just England. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> For us. <laughs> but yeah, we're doing a bunch of shows with them as kind of a, a, and today we're in Leo's to kind of warm up and get ready and prep for it. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, I mean, I've seen The Answer myself and, and met the guys. Um, great bunch of lads. Yeah. Great bunch of lads. Um, yeah, I've been quite friendly with Cormac, actually. I've seen him on his uh, solo, doing oh, his solo well. stuff yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, so great uh, band and, and they've been missed haven't they and they've oh, they been have. away for a little while yeah. so I think it's going to be a bit it's of a been quite a long homecoming break. for them yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. brilliant yeah and I mean listening to what they've been doing um, they're back on track because hmm. I think there was a bit of a lull with their last album Solus um, I don't think it took off quite as they'd hoped but uh it was a bit more of a somber affair, <laughs> you know. It was, a bit, <laughs> right. it was a bit more proggy, wasn't it? But yeah, no. This this is them certainly back to form. It's, it's very good. Yeah. Definitely. Well, I think you're going to have great fun with them. Yeah, I think that's too. It's going to be a good fun tour. Yeah. So, so whereabouts are you going with this tour? Um, from the neck, you'll know better than us. <laughs> uh, Black, uh, Blackpool, Birmingham, uh, Bristol, London, Leeds. Lovely. Just five shows. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think there's some. Um, I think there's two sold outs, and then I think the rest of them are very close to. Yeah. to being sold out so oh brilliant so it could have been missed <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah yeah no well I'm, I think it'll be a great support for them so uh, no, sorry so. special guests <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey we're support <laughs> we're the back of music for the t-shirt sales <laughs> yeah. I don't mind yeah damn right damn right so I mean you guys have got quite a pedigree between you haven't you I mean um You've been in a few bands. We've, we've got around musically, yeah, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. <laughs> Let's have a little little potty's history there. <laughs> well, I did blues for a while as a solo musician, and then I got tired of that and went into Raven Eye mm-hmm. and did that for quite some time, and then that just slowly dissipated and I took a break really for music, um, just for um, health reasons, and then um, started um, the Dead Collective. Yeah, with um, Wayne here. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, I think we started it um, as one chapter closed in my life. You know, mm. like we we pretty much started recording almost like the within weeks of that. Mm. Um, and some of those songs that we'll play uh, that are on the r- record mm. and that we'll play tonight um, are um, are part of what we did almost immediately. And mm-hmm. aren't they? You know, t- so that was 2019. So these songs have been around a little while. Yeah. But then, uh, as when you live with a, a set of songs, you one one comes out really good and then that kind of raises the bar and then the yeah. next ones you do and then then I think we we'd been working for another artist that we, that we were producing and um, and I just think we were very brutal with the songs we mm. were cutting them up and moving them around and yeah. and then that carried into what we were doing because mm. all of a sudden we had this one song and it was like oh yeah we, why don't you just go all out on that so yeah I think that ended up being haunted yeah then he brought that back and mm. it was this like epic song yeah, sinking ship was another one that was sounded nothing like that, but we just got brutal with it and sped it up, slow it down, changed the arrangement, mm. and it came out this other way. And um, so yeah, so like the time and the breaks between recording actually gave us different perspectives because we were working with other people and doing other things. Yeah, yeah, which was nice. It changes things up a bit. Yeah. Doesn't it? Mm. How about yourself? What have you been doing? <laughs> uh, I've I've been I've been doing all sorts. I've been out with. Um, well, I mean, I mean, recently out with uh, Black Star Riders and, mm. and waiting on more stuff with, with Wayward Sons coming on. But in the meantime, um, you know, I, I, I got asked by, uh, by Ollie to, to be a part of the live. You know, I've, I've got to say, I've, I can take absolutely no credit for any of what you're, you're hearing here. These, <laughs> these guys are the brains of the outfit and, mm. you know, have <coughs> put all this, this stuff together. And it is absolutely fantastic you know to when, once you start sort of you know digging into it and you you know trying to learn it mm. bloody hell <laughs> it's so set hard set you a challenge did they? <laughs> yeah, they did they did went, oh yeah no yeah oh, that'll be great yeah. <laughs> i sat there at home weeks later sweating <laughs> oh, oh, i don't know how it goes but um but no and, the, and these guys they've written these this this fantastic body of work mm. um 
and and yeah they wanted to take it out take it on the road and they needed another another sort of guitarist yeah. good sort looking of. debonair swag. well <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, guitarist was the bonus yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but no he wasn't available so you got me yeah. and, um, <laughs> but I can make you guys look better <laughs> but, <Yeah. laughs> um, but no no uh, it's uh, it's just it's great to, to play with them it's great to play mm. these songs great to play with these guys and uh, yeah, I, I just love doing it. It's, it's really cool. It's something totally different for me. Sure. As well. Yeah. This, this not only sort of stylistically, but how the whole setup works, mm. you know, um, sort of coming in and having a sort of definite part to, to mm. play and, and definite thing that you need to be doing to add the thing that you are meant to be adding in. It's yeah. It's great, but it, you know, I just I, I love love doing it with with these guys. You yeah, know, it's, it's well, look, wonderful. There's certainly some chemistry between you guys on stage. I mean, I saw you in sound check. Uh, sounds massive. Oh, I think oh, sounds thank you, you. Yeah, wicked. Yeah. Thanks. Um, That's a man, yeah, Mark. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's quite something. You know, uh, I've obviously been listening to the recording stuff you got out there. Yeah, which, which is, is very little, little at the moment. Yeah, but uh, yeah, absolutely lush. Thank um, you. Absolutely well, super. Originally, we did look at putting it out as an album because we yeah. have all the songs ready and we discussed about doing it. Um, but the way music's consumed right now and for us as an indie band to really kind of have legs throughout the year, putting an album out to you know a small audience right now, it just yeah. felt silly. So I think we looked at, right, let's do an EP and create a saga of a few EPs that kind of develop as, as time goes. But also we're less bound in the order because now we can do the second EP and potentially start with a eight minute ballad because yeah. <laughs> we can yeah. and oh, yeah. i think where well, there's definitely you know like a, a an indifference and not in, in a bad way but like of how we're going to release it because mm. we're going to do it the way that we want to rather than thinking right this next ep has to have a radio song a slow song and a heavy song we're just going actually we want to offer this sound and this yeah. atmosphere for this next um record so we've got the whole year kind yeah. of planned out uh, and it, i guess more logically as, a, mm. as an indie band financially yeah yeah, I mean, it, it makes sense in many ways to sort of drip feed it. Yes. Rather yeah. than yeah. just go balls out and, you know. Yeah, because that's it. You've, you've thrown it all out there. <laughs> yeah, and then it's like, well, then everyone's waiting for what's next. Yeah. And like, this way, we've got a lot of content coming together mm. as well. And we did a, on the first EP, we did a string version of Haunted, one of our leading songs, mm. with an amazing cello player called Joe Quayle. Yeah. And the idea of the Solitude Sessions is that we're going to do alternate version of, of a lot of the songs. Yeah treating them completely differently like a brand new song so that there's something I guess different yeah. going along with each well piece. yeah definitely I mean it's and it so breaks down expectation as well yeah yeah. I think because it's so easy for think for the, the music you do to get just put into this neat little like package and um, I think it's artistic freedom that we're trying to buy yeah so you know but, but the weight of it all and the, the depth of the music is, is imperative. So even though it might change, just twist and turn a little bit, yeah. um, it's forget about, well, oh, oh, we want another rock or we want the other pop track. It's, yeah. it's not about that. Because when, you know, I think when we talked about it a little while ago that, you know, you think, you think of the biggest bands in the world, you know, the, mm. your Pink Floyds, your Led Zeppelins, none mm. of them were radio songs. No. Um, no, they were never radio album no, bands. You know, like Led Zeppelin never had a single, did they? You know? No. No, and, um, exactly. Yeah, they're the big, some of the biggest selling artists in the world. Pink yeah. Floyd, you know, how many? 180 million records oh, or something. something and, um, yeah. and you know, I'm not saying that we're in that category, but I think the freedom, yeah. the artistic <laughs> freedom. Yeah. We sold um, over 180, yeah, 180 CDs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think that artistic freedom is really important. Yeah. So it means you can surprise people. And they're buying. They're buying into that. Um, how brave you can be as an artist. But that. But that's yeah. kind of for, for me. When when I first sort of heard the material coming at it from someone who initially was was totally impartial to it, it mm. it sounds like music that has been made for you guys. You mm. know, you've just done what you wanted to do, and you've had that freedom. And there's no there's not been an agenda there. It's right. just it's music that has been properly crafted to your vision of it. And I think that's well, that's right. I mean, there's there's um, there's so many elements to your music as well. You know, there's there is a sense of blues there. Um, yeah. You know, that comes through strongly. But it's the way you've fused it with other subgenres, for Love want it. of a better word. Yeah. Um, and it just works, doesn't it? I mean, you know, it's um, as a listener and a non musician myself, um, yeah, I can feel it. Oh, thank you. That's you cool. That's what we, I think that's what we want. Like, yeah. I think the main thing is with these songs is being quite transparent about it, like mm -hmm. lyrically and the weight of it. and 
you know, it, it's, you know, I think for us it was a good mental health recovery. Really, the record it kind of helped us get a lot out that we needed to get out. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> you know, many a dark night and a studio session. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, there's like, definitely a couple of them where it, we were just sat sweating lyrics. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and going backwards and forwards and just trying things, and you know, then when you break through it yeah. and you've been in there for two days, you know. It, it's kind of like hunkering down because there's some nuclear war going off or something yeah. and yeah there was a bright <laughs> light I thought we like, were on <laughs> scrubbing <laughs> your eyes like what is this yeah. day yeah, like? yeah. And, um, <laughs> you know just being down there and just like it's definitely a few which I think I think on the next EP one of them appears you know mm. but the, the next one's weighty you know the next mm. one that's coming out is the, there, I think there is a radio track on there but um, it's not intentional it's just that's how it came out yeah. you know yeah. rather than being contrived and, and too too thought out it's just it's what it wants to be itself. well it's, it's got to come from the heart yeah it? you yeah. know and from the soul and that's um again you use the word contrived yeah the audience can tell when it is yeah you know and you, <laughs> people will think oh yeah this has been written for radio you know and yeah. it's um yeah it doesn't work that way, does it? I think not for us. I don't think we want it really. I mean, yeah, great. I mean, if radio picks it up and plays it, then fantastic. Mm. But I just, I think it's, you know, there's a bigger scope for us. And like, as I think for us, we just want to not not be bound and push ourselves creatively. And, mm. and hopefully good music comes out of it. And I yeah. think I think we're very critical as it is. And there were a lot of songs that went in that yeah. we turned, turned mm. away. And I think it's just, it's a healthier creative space to be in. I think mm. when you're not having to compete against your last record or compete against yourself and trying to think, right, well, people are expecting this, so we better create more of this. Yeah. Where this way we can kind of create what we want in a much healthier uh, a way. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Because I think somebody like, um, we were mentioned Stephen Wilson. I mean, not that we're anything like that, but every album he does, it's a little different. Yeah. Then he'll do Porcupine Tree and... But no, if you try to, like someone said to you, what does he do? And you'd write, okay, sell it to me. You'd be like, where do you start? Yeah, where do you start? Yeah. But it's yeah. great, and he sells all these places out. And mm. so it's, I think he's just being brave, you yeah. know. Um, and yeah. I think, you know, it's one of them things that you just have to throw yourself in for the battle. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, which is what we did. Well, you <laughs> know, so, the quivering so you're being true to yourselves, which yeah. is which is what, it, what it's all about, you know. Um, and uh, it's your own creativity, uh, which really counts. Mm. So it, it comes through with what I've heard. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to hear a bit more tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll hear the album. <laughs> well, <laughs> fantastic. I <laughs> look forward to it. Guys, it's been lovely talking to you. Thank you so much for your time. And um, break a leg tonight. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Hopefully not too literally. <laughs> not literally. <laughs> <laughs> Thank and, you. And uh, best of luck for the tour with the answer. And uh, give Cormac and the boys more love. And um, well, Will do. Yeah, enjoy. Actually, I'll be seeing the answer at, um, in London. I can't remember where you're playing. Oh, Club. 100 Club. Perfect. Hey, I'll we'll see, see you there. there. See you there. We'll see you there. <laughs> Today you can tell him yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure to be down the front. Always out. <laughs> but who's this opening act? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, who's that on? Seen <laughs> 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 them somewhere. Guys, it's been great. Thank yeah, you so much. Thanks for Yeah. Look forward to seeing you later. Thanks. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.